What's up guys, Everything Alpha Pro here, and boy do I have some great news for you guys today. So the iOS 8.3 and 8.4 jailbreak, it's finally happening. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the release date, you know, where you should be at for the jailbreak if you're looking forward to it. Basically, all around all the news around this jailbreak and why I'm so excited about this news that I'm about to share with you guys. So first off, there was a conference held in Shanghai a couple days ago, held by the Pangu jailbreak team. Now at this conference, the iOS 8.3 jailbreak was demoed. Previously, we've only seen an iOS 8.4 jailbreak and that was by Stefan Esser or Ionic and he had no intention of ever releasing that jailbreak. He just did it to gloat and it was some hope, but you know, if we don't really see it, what's the point of showing it to us? Well, the Pangu jailbreak team, not Taiji, actually demoed an 8.3 jailbreak and this is spectacular news. For one, because it shows that it's possible. On 8.3, with all of the latest exploits patched, a jailbreak was still achieved. That means the jailbreak could filter down to lower firmwares if you're still on 8.2, 8.1.3. And if you don't want to upgrade, you want to stay there, that means you will receive a jailbreak there. But the 8.3 jailbreak was achieved, it was demoed, and that's fantastic because we finally have some tangible hope. Before it was just promises, whispers here and there, but now we actually know the jailbreak is possible. Now this jailbreak was deemed legit. Many of the big jailbreak developers on Twitter did retweet this news, so that's a good sign already. That means this is legit. It's it's not a lie and it's likely to happen. I mean, Pangu has a good track record in the past. Why would they show us something that's not legit? So as far as a release date, we can expect it when iOS 8.4 will be released. Here's the Pangu jailbreak developer team's plan. So they're pretty much trying to see if their exploits will work on the final version of iOS 8.4. And the only way to do so is to wait until 8.4 will be released. Now this time around, we know it's legit. So it's worth the wait, guys. It's not just like, oh, you know, we'll just wait and maybe we'll release it then. We know it will happen. So worst case scenario, 8.4 comes out, Apple patches the exploits, they will release it on 8.3. So we're pretty much gonna wait for iOS 8.4 to be released. A few days after that, we will see the iOS 8.4 jailbreak, considering the fact that Apple doesn't patch anything. Now, what can we expect to iOS 8.4? Well, towards the end of June, the latest report. One of the early reports did say that Apple would release iOS 8.4 immediately after Worldwide Developer Conference on Monday tomorrow, but a new report says that they're gonna wait until the end of June. That's a last minute decision based on the fact that their music streaming service was not ready for prime time. Now, tomorrow, we're gonna see iOS 9, the first preview, and I am so excited for that. As far as jailbreak goes for iOS 9, Taiji is gonna be the team that's gonna be working on that, and even though it's considered rootless, we still have a lot of hope. There's a very good team working on it, who knows, they might find that chink in the rootless armor. So iOS 8.4 will be released a few days after that. They're gonna adjust the jailbreak to work for 8.4 and we will see that, likely towards the end of June. And guys, this is legit. We can almost feel the jailbreak in our hands on our devices, our empty, sterile devices without a single tweak on them. It really sucks, doesn't it, not to be jailbroken? Well, we can finally put an end to that and receive a jailbreak on our empty phones. You know, it's just, it's life's empty without a jailbreak. It sucks. Well, anyways, I'm really looking forward to that. iOS 9 in particular. Now, whether or not it'll be worth updating from 8.4 to iOS 9 and skip the jailbreak, oh man, that's gonna be a hard one to call. I'm gonna have to see what iOS 9 brings first, but we have a pretty good idea with my other video. I did talk about the new features iOS 9 is likely to bring. In any case, we're gonna see that very soon. Now, where should you guys be? I know in the past, I did tell you guys, stay on the firmware where you're at. You know, don't update. So first off, for the people that are jailbroken on 8.2 beta 2 or 8.1.2 remain on the jailbreak. And I'm just saying that as a precaution, just stay there just in case. But if you guys are on 8.1.3, 8.2, you can go ahead and update to 8.3. No worries about that there. We already know 8.3 can be jailbroken, so there's no point on staying on 8.1.3 or 8.2. Go ahead and update to the latest firmware right now, but not 8.4. Wait on 8.4, it'll be released towards the end of June. Don't update yet until you have word from me or the jailbreak developers that it's okay to do so. But in the meantime, go ahead and load up iTunes and update 8.3 from your computer. Don't do it from your phone. I mean, that could cause problems for the future jailbreak if you're planning on doing that. So go ahead and update from iTunes. That'll be a much better bet. And you guys can go ahead and enjoy the Apple Watch, all the latest features there from 8.3. And there's quite a bit that 8.3 brings that's worth updating too. It's really cool knowing you can be on the latest firmware and jailbroken. You know, 
know, have your cake and eat it too. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm so excited. We're going to be seeing a jailbreak so soon. And imagine all of the cool stuff with the Apple Watch that this jailbreak will bring. All the interaction, you know, the new tweaks, stuff that Apple hasn't even thought of that's going to be brought to the latest firmware thanks to a jailbreak. And iOS 9, you know, we're going to be able to see that very soon. I'll be covering all the details on that, all the new features. Hopefully, hopefully in the future we can see a jailbreak for that. But on 8.4, I'm happy to be jailbroken for a while. So guys, thanks for watching. Very good news. Again, we don't have long to wait. Apple could even release 8.4 tomorrow, but that's not likely to happen. End of June, finally we have a tangible release date, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there. I just want to hold you guys. Please, we're almost there. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Enjoy your unjailbroken device for just a little bit more. Peace.